well, I didn't get to play in the 51 World Series because uh, I'd hurt my knee, you know. Uh, like uh, in the second game, Willie Mays in 51, this would have been my first World Series in uh, 1951, and uh, my dad was there. And uh, I was really wanting to do good. And I played first game. I think I got one for three. And then the second game started. And Joe DiMaggio's. This was his last year. He was playing center field, and I was playing right field. And Casey had told me before the game. He said, "You know, take everything you can get to right field." Sure enough, Willie Mays hits a pop fly into right center, and I was running as hard as I could to get over to it. You know, because Casey had told me before the game. You know about. Joe had slowed up a little bit, he thought. Well, anyway, when I get there, Joe's already standing under the ball, and he said, I got it, and you don't want to run into Joe DiMaggio. So when I tried to stop, I was going as fast as I could. My, my back cleat and my spike stuck in a rubber drain, and when it did, my knee just went right out through the front of my leg, and I just folded up on the field. And a lot of people thought somebody had shot me. You know, uh, Even Joe said that he thought I'd been shot because I just lay there. I didn't move. You know, I think it must have knocked me just I addled me or something. I don't know what happened, but I, I remember laying there for a while, and then I got up. And my, I didn't get up. They come and got me on a stretcher and carried me out. And my dad was in the dugout. I don't know how he got down there, but he got down through the uh, uh, through everybody and got into the dugout. And the next day, my knee, they put a wrap on it that night, and I had to go to Lenox Hill Hospital the next morning. My dad went with me in a cab. When we got to Lenox Hill Hospital, he got out first, and I put my arm around his shoulder to jump out of the cab. And when I did, he just collapsed on the sidewalk at Lenox Hill. And they, they uh, come and got us both, and they put us in the same room, and we watched the rest of the World Series in 51 in the same room. That's when I found out that my dad had Hodgkin's disease. And uh, that winter, uh, me and Merlin took him up to Mayo's Clinic, and uh, they, they assured us that he did have cancer and that, you know, that he probably wasn't going to make it too much longer. And uh, the next spring, oh, it wasn't the next spring. It was probably, we'd played into May. And I got a phone call. I was standing at the concourse. Me and Merlin was standing at the concourse plaza right by the ballpark in the Bronx there. And uh, I got a call in the afternoon. It was Casey. And he told me that my dad had died that day. And uh, I went ahead and played that night. And uh, then I went to the went back home to the funeral.